friends welcome to my channel and welcome to the channel so today i'm going to explain you that is the fourth standard piece of study six chapter that is uh, stuffing so briefly enumerate the important sources of require requirement so requirement refers to the search on attaching uh, requirement required personnel for a job internal sources so what are internal sources that is internal sources of the requirement refers to the source that are within the organization the source that he, they can provide the organization can provide the facilities for him and external sources so external sources of requirement refers to the sources of the requirement that are outside the organization so what are the things he need from the outside of the organization for uh, making the production of the goods they can provide you next let's know about the staffing process and the various steps involved in it is so staffing process refers to the procedure of filling the vacancies and keeping them filled estimation of the required manpower is requirement and searching so it refers to the enlisting and searching the suitable candidates for the job and it is the, it is the process of searching the appropriate people for the job and influencing them to apply for the job next selection so selection involves choosing the right candidate out for the out of the gathered pool of aspirants what uh, and next is the induction and placement so once the selection is done it becomes important to take the selected employee familiar with the working environment and training and development so next step of the staffing process is training and development of the employee so both the process emphasizes one improving uh, on improving the employee's com uh, commission and appraisal so performance of the staff or the individual and promotion so every employee needs encouragement and motivation for continuing the work with the in that company and next is compensation worth of the job is an important aspect to determine all organization need to establish the right pay or salary for each job next what is meant by requirement and how it is different from selection so requirement refers to the procedure of finding and stimulating the required candidate to apply for a job and meaning of the requirement is requirement refers to the process of finding the instigating the required person for a job and selection is the refers to the process of choosing the right candidate for gathering pool development uh, of the time for the time of requirement and in the staffing process requirement is the second stage and in staffing process selection is the stage and to uh, requirement next character is so requirement process involves attracting as many persons as possible for the job selection process involves choosing only the ap uh, appropriate candidates only this much candidate next let us know about the procedure of necessary to eliminate those candidates who do not fulfill the basic criteria and qualification required for that job they who do not fill that and test so test is a mechanism that helps in judging certain characteristics to the aspirant so test we by see, doing the test we can know the how much what is his ability next personal interview so personal interviews are in a, an integral part of selection process that includes conversation of the candidates with the manager and background checks so once personal interview then is checking about that candidate and selection decision so selection decision after the test we have to take the decision and medical examination so few organization emphasis on medical exam medical health test health checkup job offer so next step is to give him the job and the employment contract so one of once the job letter is given, the candidate have to fill up some employment letter for his job. Next, now what is training and how it is different from education? So training. Training is refers to the enhancement of skills, ability and competence required for a specific job profile. So training. Training implies increasing the skill, but education implies increasing the overall knowledge. And scope. Training is a narrow concept and rela relates to development of understanding relating to them only a specific job and education is wider to know about everything next what is the advantages of training to an individual and to the organization so training is an important aspect of the organization so it aims to out the skills and abilities of the individuals to perform a job about their ability and benefits of the employee what the employees get benefit from that training is 
better career opportunities so training enhances the skill and knowledge earn more so by helping uh, the individual to learn more they can earn more money in the in their job developing a training direct the individuals to work more efficiently then in turn building up requirement next less wasted so training is a concept that involves systematic learning of work and it is a more efficient way to learn that uh, any hit and train method any other method and higher profit so by this we can grow they get the higher profit and managerial efficiency so training prepares the employees to face new challenges in different situation and reduce the agent insist so effective training helps in the boosting the moral of the employee next let us know the difference between training and development training refers to the process of enhancing the skills of the skills and competence of the employee and development refers to the process of overall growth of an employee and focus so the focus of training is to specific job requirement for that specific job and the focus of development is overall growth of them Next, the staffing function performed by every manager and not is not necessary necessarily be by a separate department. So, staffing refers to the function of finding the right person for their job. So, it ensures the vacancies that how much they have occupied and how much they have to give, and what is their work and the other things it involves. Next, why are internal sources of requirement considered to be more costly? Economical. So, internal source of the requirement refers to the sources that are endogenous to the organization that is within the uh, within the organization. There are two ways of filling the jobs internally. They are namely transfer and promotion. It has an advantage of being more economically than the other sources of requirement. Next, what is importance of staffing function in today's environment? So, staffing is an important function of managing event as it makes care of manpower. Things so like the video, comment on my video, and subscribe my channel. And we'll continue to come more. I will see you next video. Spending another chapter till then. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye, my dear friends.